Hello, everyone. Chief Meteorologist Brian Hale. Well, the preliminary forecast is out by Dr. Gray and his team, and they are going with 18 named storms for this coming hurricane season. That is anything with winds 39 miles an hour or greater. Nine of those named storms could very well become hurricanes with winds of 74 miles an hour or greater. Four of those nine could be major hurricanes with winds of 111 miles an hour or greater. As you can see, the average year would yield 12 storms, six hurricanes, three of those major. So that looks to be an above normal forecast. Thursday's forecast for the Rio Grande Valley, 78 along the coast, low 80s through much of the valley with the mid 80s out west. Rainfall, we're still hurting, and that's for certain. As a look at a seasonal snapshot here since March 1st, has us uh, more than an inch and a half, uh, inch and three-fourths for Harlingen, nearly an, an inch and a half for Brownsville, and more than an inch and a quarter behind for McAllen. The reservoir situation continues to be fairly dismal, with the uh, United States' share of the water of Falcon and Amistad at 36%. You look at the overall future cast for the nation, and you can see the big storm system everyone's been talking about continues to move east across Arkansas and the Mississippi, while the tail of it moves through the valley, already moving through the valley, and uh, pretty much leaving in its wake clearing conditions. We do still have the immediate possibility of an overnight shower or thunder shower into early Thursday morning, but for my money, it's just going to continue to clear out. Winds will be northeast and then switching to the southeast by Friday, and that puts us back into warming, a warming trend through the weekend and into early next week. We're looking at the low 90s for the upper valley early next week and the upper 80s to near 90 for the lower valley. That's a look at your 24-7 forecast.